is Becky Belote um, from Newport News, Virginia. Um, and today, what I'm going to be talking about is those recipe templates. So I have cut clients that everyone that comes out, they can't wait to get them. Um, I have clients that have them and um, they don't quite understand how to use them. And so every time I show them, it's like a light bulb goes off. And I just got back from a weekend retreat with um, with them in Virginia Beach and um so I kind of touched on it a little bit, and um, I like it when when they, they they get it that it doesn't have to be time consuming. It can be um, if you spend a lot of time on it. It's going to be a masterpiece, and if that's important to you, you're going to really like it. Um, but I also like the recipe templates just to do really fast ideas that are just a little bit out of the box. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today is how to use your recipe templates in a fashion that's fast and easy. And I'm focusing on one called the mirrored ovals, okay? Now, before I forget forget to tell you, um, there is a promotion going on right now. Um, it, it started yesterday and I understand the birthday bundle, it, it's our birthday, the company's birthday. Um, and so they always do something this time of year to celebrate the birthday. And if you spend $75, they're throwing in some really fun things, but I understand they already sold out of those really fun things in one day. So they have changed the birthday bundle and you're still going to get something really cool. In fact, I think really cool. Um, it's a, an exclusive border maker cartridge and a um, digital um, download of the border book that they promised. Okay, so you're still going to get the border book. You're just going to have to print it out and put it like on a notebook. But for your um, inconvenience, they are adding the border maker cartridge. So um, this is a good time for you to place your $75 order. Um, your advisor can also place this order for you um, if you're um, if you need her to. So just reach out to her. Um, sometimes we can't do that, but this one we can. So we would be happy to help. So reach out to your favorite advisor. If you don't have one, reach out to me. I would love to make sure you get your freebies, um, but don't wait. It, it says through November 4th, but it very clearly says while supplies last. And I think that this one caught them by surprise again. You all are just going crazy buying stuff. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started with this recipe template. I'm going to change my screen again. Thank you for tuning in today. All right. So um, what I want you to understand, and again, um, I like to store my um, store. A few, this is um, our, I think it's called stash, bind, fill and stash binder. And I really love it. You can get these customizable little inserts like this is um these are six by 12s so our abc's fit perfectly in them so i really like them for that um i, I separate them by color um and then we have these full size pockets which are great for our recipe templates they fit perfectly in them and people store um different things for different reasons um in them and um but, but this is what I have found that really works for me. And so I store all of those in there and my little words, like, I don't know about you, but I love my little words and I kind of have them separated. Like this is one's for faith. This is one for celebration. So if I'm looking for a particular saying, I can find them. All right. But today, um, as I promised, I am going to talk about this template. This one is mirrored um, ovals. And what I hear people say is, oh my gosh, no way do I have time for something like that. That is so complicated. So I want to just get that idea right out of your mind. Um, they give you little ideas on the packaging that kind of spurs your mind. But what I need you to do is what do you see other than all of these patterns? Like, do you see this little like flower? You know, that could be a flower or a butterfly. Um, do you see these ovals? Do you see these like little diamonds? Like, You've got to be able to let your brain relax a little bit and see what things you see other than this busy, busy pattern. OK, so um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a few pages that I've made and then I'm going to show you how easy um, it, they were actually to make. So this is one that I just made this morning using the Croptoberfest stuff. Actually, this base piece came from the Golden Harvest line, but this across the top um, came from Mirrored Oval. So I thought these little funky shapes were kind of fun. 
So I, that's what's there. And I thought these were just kind of fun. So I put these little petals there at the end. And I also added, if you can see it, um, a totally tonal blue strip to connect through the middle. And um, at the bottom, because I snipped them short, I had extra for my little journal box here, okay? All right, um, I also made in my, but um, I'm gonna show it again. Um, this is using seasonal sidings. This is the new beautiful Christmas line. And again, uh, what I did is I used these petals. You see the petal border across the top? So I just cut out 12 of those and put those across the top. What else do I have on here? Um, another thing that I'm famous for, this was a mat from the mat pack that I cut out the middle and used it as an embellishment here. So this is ready for a photo and this is decoration. That keeps me from having to do some kind of title. Just saves me a little bit of time. You can see that I'm popping my flowers with foam pads. And the last one that I made with mirror triangles is this one. Um, so I have my ovals and this little guy. And on the template, it has that little guy going more vertically. I just tilted it the other direction to give another look. Um, that cardinal punch, super pretty. Um, you can do just pieces of it. Like I've, I've done just a piece of it to put at the top of a border. Um, I've seen people actually cut the, the, the birds out completely and put them in trees. Um, if you snip the little top of his little head off, it could be a blue bird or whatever other color bird that you want. And um, I did double mat. I put a black behind it to give it a shadow. Um, it really makes it pop. All right. So now I'm going to debunk uh, the time that's concerned here. So everybody thinks they see these and say, so I'm supposed to trace that oval and cut it. Well, you certainly could. But for our loyal Creative Memories followers, if you have these oval patterns, Typically on our mats, they are built to go with our stuff. So you can see that this was used, that I can use this one with the blue blade to get that oval. And that's what I did here to get these two ovals. So really all I did was cut out this. And again, um, it's not a big deal. It takes, it, I'm, I'm going to tell you how to do it fast. All right. So this one, um, all I did was the petals. And like I said, I needed 12 of them. So I'm going to show you how to do that fast. And then last, um, again, I needed four petals and two kind of funky diamonds on this one. And I'm going to show you how to do it fast. So what you're going to do is decide what you're cutting out. Again, the ovals, you would use your cutting system, figure out which one matches and use your patterns. And if you don't have this, this cutting system, it's great. Um, for fast ovals and circles, um, definitely fast for your um, photos. Um, so anyways, I, I highly recommend this as something that you must have. All right, so what I do, and you don't have to like lay it down. And if you want this, you don't have to trace it in the middle. Trace it over here to save your space. So let's say I wanted four of those, for instance. So what I would do is I would trace it. All right, and then what I would do is cut it with my straight trimmer. I need four. Isn't that what I just said, four? I'm just guessing. I'm really not making anything with this. But let's say I needed four. So I don't want to bend up the rest of my paper, so I'm just going to cut off um, a piece of it that has, has my um, etching on there, my sketch. And then I'm going to fold it. And this one is only going to give me three, sadly. So I'd have to do one more. But we're going to do three. And when you do small patterns, so we have two kinds of scissors that I recommend. These are for long cuts. All right. If you have short cuts, I recommend these. Looks like I've got a little bit of a foam pad on this one. <laughs> All right. So for your smaller cuts, um, you're going to use these. And that gives you more wiggle room to go really smoothly around the edges. If there is a side that you prefer over the other, if you do your pencil marks on that side, you don't even have to erase. I mean, on the opposite side, 
You don't even have to erase if you miss them. But little small cuts. Um, you don't try to do big giants when you're going around curvies. But if you were going to go straight, you could either use your straight trimmer or your longer scissors for the big cuts. So you can see how I'm doing three at a time. So I would just have to cut one more. Okay. If I had to cut a bunch of the, um, the petals, um, what I would probably do to be faster. Um, so I'm gonna, again, I'm going to put it down towards the bottom. So I'm saving half of my paper. I'm going to go ahead and do one and two. And then I'm going to, like I said, trim it off because I'm going to fold this piece of paper. Um, let's say I needed eight or something like that. So I'm folding it, cutting off so that I have this piece of paper that hasn't been bent up. And now if I need eight, then I need to fold this a number of times. So that's going to give me four. Fold it again to get six. Fold it again to get eight. All right. And then again, these really sharp scissors, they're small. They're going to be able to go really nicely. You do little, small, little cuts to be very accurate. And you're going to do that all the way around. Okay. Is that cool? And then um, I would do the other one to get the other four. So that's super fast. So don't think of this as a time, you know, something that takes a ton of time. So then let's say I wanted to put these at a particular place. So let's say I wanted to put um, two petals here and two petals there. So what I would do is put it exactly where I want it. So you can see how I'm moving it around here. I want it kind of centered on the page. I would grab my tape runner which actually, lucky for me, I do have it. Actually, I'm gonna, because we're putting it in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and center my paper on my board um, so that I can make sure that this little thing right here is at my six, so that when I go to do my other side, it's in the same spot. All right, so I'm gonna put adhesive in that hole and then pop them in. It'll fit, yeah. This type of um, me, this type of template is my favorite because of all the symmetry. This one is probably going to go better on this other side, maybe. There we go. That one goes there. Okay, so that takes care of that. And then we're going to go over here. There's my six. Again, I'm going to center it around that six. I'm going to put this in. And um, then we will be done, actually. Went a little bit too far off. And there's another one. Yes. And that is Pico that you hear chirping in the background. He's lovely most of the time. All right. And so there you have it. So wouldn't this be pretty with um a, a few mats? And so simple, right? All right. And of course, these we cut out earlier. I could do something with those too. I don't know if I want to use that or not, but ooh, maybe the other side. Actually, I kind of like that, don't you? That was so impromptu. <laughs> I love it when I do that. All right. So anyways, these are unusual pieces and it gives you unusual looks. Great um, on pages that you just want a pop. So that's going to look good like that or like that, right? And y'all are probably saying, I see something that I don't see, but um, I think it's just, just a really pretty design uh, for a beautiful page. All right. So that is all I've got for today. Um, again, um, just reminding you to not forget that you can order 75 or more on our websites today. You can order with your advisor. And I hope if you don't have an advisor, if you just buy from Creative Memories, that you'll pick an advisor. Support the girls. We're all small business owners. Um, and we really appreciate it um, when you support us. So thanks. Thanks for that. And, um, and I hope you get your freebies this week. Don't wait because they are likely to sell out. So I appreciate you watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.